Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to get started uh, using Python in uh, IDEA 10.3. So with 10.3 we now have the options to create IDEA scripts uh, using Python instead of the IDEA scripting language. And I want to, to take some time in this video just to walk you through how you could set up an environment that should help you uh, speed up your development of uh, basically IDEA scripts or uh, Python IDEA scripts. So now, with 10.3 installed, we can start writing uh, Python right away. So what I could do is I've created sort of a virtual environment here where I've got ID installed and nothing else, basically, except for uh, Explorer. And I'm going to uh, take a few minutes and walk you through how to create what I think is a decent environment for uh, developing uh, Python scripts. First of all, I just want to show you that I can start using Python right out of the box. So I could just technically just go into Notepad if I wanted to, and then I'm just going to create a short Python script. So don't worry what this means. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on having other videos in the future that will walk you through how to uh, do some of these things. But right now, this video is just simply you know, showing you how to start using Python, developing Python using IDEA. And I'm just going to call this a Python uh, message box. So I just created this short little Python uh, script here that unless I have a syntax error will show me on Python message box. So I'm just going to save this and I'm going to, going to go into documents, my idea documents, idea projects, under samples, macros, and I'm just going to save this as message.py. Sorry, I already done one before when I was practicing, so I'm just going to replace that. Okay, so now I have the simple program, message. Now I'm going to load an idea. And I'm going to go create a new idea script to call this message box. And if we go into the language browser, we can see how idea script accesses the python so under idea script under client we now have some new functions called run python and run python ex so here i just want to do run executes the specified python script exactly what i want so here i'm just going to copy this over grab this i'm going to copy this and i'm just going to call this I have to rename it, so i got to call it the same name as the message. Now, before I can actually run a Python script for the first time, I have to go under File, Options, because there's an option here, and Python scripts are disabled by default. <clears throat> so you have to come in here and click, I want to run Python scripts. Uh, then it says, do the open source nature of Python. Backwards comp compatibility for these features is not supported. You have to click on I have read and agreed to the above terms. I click on I agree. I click on OK. And then I can run the script. If I hadn't had done that, I wouldn't be able to run the script. So now if I do that, I'll click on Run Script. And here we go. We've got a Python message box. Uh, so there, we've created our first little Python script. Now, we can see how quite easy it's done. I did it in Notepad. The thing is, like this is quite simple. This is only two lines. Uh, if we wanted to go in and do something a bit more complicated, you know, Notepad is not the option to use. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to walk you through other options, or the option, I should say, the option that I use to go in and create Python scripts. So I'm just going to close this, and we'll come back to this later on. So first thing we want to do is, what I want to do is create an environment outside of IDEA that I can run and create Python scripts in. Because right now, Python is only installed within IDEA. I can't run Python outside of IDEA. But if I want to develop stuff, I want to have the options to be able to develop uh, 
information that is not, you know, not just within IDEA. I want to be able to do it outside of IDEA, you know, then I can run it, create it, debug it, and then once I'm done, then I port it over into IDEA. So instead of having me go run an IDEA script each time, I can go in and just run it directly from the application I'm going to show you. So first thing we have to do is we've got to go grab Python. And IDEA is using a Python 3.3. Uh, don't worry about uh, the URLs. What I'll do is when I post this video, I will post all the links and everything uh, below so you can just go click on them and grab them easily. So I want Python 3.3. If I go down to the bottom, they've got the different files. So you need to take the file that uh, represents your computer, your installation. In this instance, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to use the Windows X86 executable installer. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm just going to save it. Once it's finished, I'm going to click on Run. So now I am going to install Python. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we click on Add Python 3.5 to Path. Because as we're going to see in a few minutes, there's certain commands. We're going to do something from the command line to, <clears throat> sorry, the command line to go and get additional uh, options to uh, install with Python. And if this Python path is not added, we're going to have problems. So just clicking on that makes it a lot easier for us. So then I'm just going to go do install now. So now, once it's finished installing, setup is successful, we can click on close. So the next thing I want to do is, I'm just going to minimize this, is if we go back and look into help. So Python is based on, uh, IDEA uses uh, Python 3.5.3 as its basis. Uh, but it also has other modules, because Python comes... Python literally has like 100,000 or more modules, I don't know how many out there, that add on additional functionality uh, to it. And IDEA comes pre-installed with several of these different modules. So if we want to get an environment that emulates what IDEA is capable of doing, then we have to also uh, install these additional modules. And to find those modules, I'll go into the help, in case we're IDEA help, and I'm just going to do a search for Python. And then I'm going to scroll down, and under Python support, there's here Ideas Package with Python Interpreter. Here we've got the 3.53, and it also has pa Python Packages. And if we click on the Packages, we see that Idea also uses all these additional packages. And what we want to do is we want to install these different packages into our Python environment so that we'd be able to use them. And how I do that is I have to use the command. So I use the command prompt. Let's just go see on like this so we can see both screens at the same time. And what I have to do is I have to go in and install each one of these. Now, I don't actually really, sorry, I do have to install each one of these, but sometimes some of these are based on other packages. So sometimes if I do like the NumPy, I think the NumPy also installs other ones. So as I'm going through these, you may see the options where it says that it's already been installed. That's because another package relies on this package and they were installed automatically. So the command to, to install a package is Python dash M. Then we use something called pip. Then we go install and the name of the package. So in this instance, I want to do sick learn. I do that, I hit enter. And then it says collecting uh, scikit learn, installing collective packages. And it takes a minute, depending on the size of the package, it may take, so here we've got success, successfully installed scikit learn. Perfect. So I'm just going to copy this. And I can go down here with paste. And the next one, I'm going to do install matplotlib. Same thing as it goes collecting. You see in this one here, it's also installing other items. Like the date util, it's installing. And the date util is 
here, Python date util is already here. So it's already installing other ones. And it goes through and installs all these. This one's a larger package because it's actually installing several packages at the same time. So very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue installing each one of these. And what I'll do is once this video is posted, I will paste uh, these links on installing it uh, at the bottom of the video. Uh, so you don't have to do it. You can just do sort of do a copy and paste. So once these are all installed, I will come back for the rest of the video. Okay, so I'm back. So I've installed all the packages. It doesn't take too long, depending on the speed of your computer and your internet connection. Probably will take you like five, ten minutes to do this all. You can see that some of these, as I'm installing them, it says the requirement requirement already satisfied. So this just means that another package, probably uh, NumPy or something like that, has installed this uh, previously. So don't worry about it. It says the requirement already satisfied. It means it's already been installed. Now that I've got installed all the packages that I need uh, to run Python or emulate uh, a Python environment that's similar to what is within uh, within IDEA, let's go just try to see if I can run that previous script directly from Python. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go grab the location here. So I want to change my directory. I'm going to change my directory to there, and then now if I want to run the the, uh, the script directly from Python, I can just type python message.py. And there we go, we got the message, uh, the Python message box. So we know Python is now working. So that's great, so that's one thing done. Now the next thing I want to do is, it's great, I've got Python installed now, I've emulated a system outside of IDEA, that now I can create uh, Python scripts uh, that will function within IDEA but outside of IDEA. Next thing I want to do is get an IDE so that I can more easily create scripts. And I'm just doing, I'm going to do a Google search. And what I want to look for is something called PyCharm. Now, PyCharm is an IDE for Python. Uh, I tried several others when I was first learning Python uh, and I found that PyCharm for me was the easiest to use. It's got lots of bells and whistles, it's really nice, it's got code completion and all kind of stuff. Uh, so once you get used to it, uh, it is really good. Now there's lots of other IDEs out there that can handle Python, so basically it's up to you. Uh, I've used PyCharm, but you don't have to use PyCharm. You can use anything else. There's lots of other ones out there. So I'm just going to go find, uh, download now. Uh, sorry, I want to go to download. I don't want to do this download. I don't want the professional one. What I want is the community edition. So the community edition has everything, or so far I've found, has everything that I need uh, to create uh, idea Python scripts. So I'm just going to download the community edition. So it makes me want to do the installer. I click on next. I'll just take the uh, the defaults. Um, I usually do the 64-bit. Create associations with PI. PI. So any uh, any files that start with PI, uh, you want to probably create the association. And also, if this is the first time installing this, you want to download and install the JRE86 by JetBrains. Basically, Python is built on the back of this, so if you don't have it installed, uh, Python, PyCharm won't work properly. So I'll just click on that. Okay, so now we are finished. Let's go run the PyCharm Community Edition. We'll click on Finish. Click on Do Not Import Settings. So it allows me to set the themes, whether you want white or black. Actually, this is something new. That's cool. So you can install additional items here. Uh, I'm just going to start using PyCharm. So I'm going to create a new project. 
I'll just call it uh, idea Python test create it loads up the project it creates the virtual environment takes a minute especially this is the first time that you're running PyCharm it takes a, uh, a minute or two to uh, to install everything get everything working properly I'll close the tip so now I'm in the Python environment uh, for right now, I'm not going to talk anything about this. I'm going to create more videos on using Python with our idea script in the future. This one's really just to, to get you going. So I just want to create my first script. So if I just do a right click, I can do new. I can do Python file. I'm just going to call this test. And then again, I'm just going to copy the what I used uh, previously and the message box and you can see how easy it is now I can do from ft enter and you're going to do the first time it's indexing so we'll give it a second once it's indexing and everything like that it'll have offer code completion and it'll be uh, a lot quicker and also you know you uh, have less problems worrying about typos and everything like that so let's just finish it indexing before I actually start typing the uh, the script Okay, so the indexing is finished. Let's just try typing this again from T. Enter. So now you see we've got code completion. And we want to go import message box as mbox. And then we just want to do mbox. So here we got all this code completion. This is really nice. Especially if you're used to using the, uh, the idea editor. You know, having this... Uh, code completion is great. Show info, I'll just call it title, and then I'll call it Python message. Now previously when I didn't have Python installed, I would have had to save this into uh, the idea macro file and then run it from an idea script. Now I can test it out and run it directly from the Python IDE, the PyCharm. And I can just do that by clicking run, run, and do test and here we go we got the message so I can create my scripts my Python scripts of uh, idea and run them within this Python editor and this will even work if I'm uh, using scripts you know the directly uh, interfacing with the idea databases and I'll talk more about that in future videos right now this video I just really wanted you to get up to speed so you have uh, an environment that works for developing Python that you can uh, get going and start having fun with Python and starting to uh, create your idea scripts or not just even your idea Python scripts I should say and also uh, create anything uh, within the equation editor with different Python functions so anyways hopefully this was helpful uh, thanks and I'll uh, catch you in my next video